Hey, what up guys? It's Brandon here. Welcome back to some more Sonic Heroes. So, in the last episode, we basically finished off Team Sonic's story. And, um, you know, we did the last area of the game, which was Egg Fleet. And then we did, um, we did, uh, was it Final Fortress? Which is pretty much the toughest level in the game. Which, um, well, we could, we could just go back over here and I'll show you guys. But, um, yeah, so we did these two, these, uh, these three levels here. So, Egg Fleet, we, we were just... I mean, I, I think I failed like once, I believe. Yeah, I think I, I think so. I don't, know, I can't remember. But um, yeah, maybe I don't, know, I can't remember. But um, yeah, we did. After that, we did Final Fortress, which um, dang, took me nine minutes. It was, it was pretty tough though overall. But like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm very good at the stage now, so it's, it wasn't too bad for me because I used to struggle on this stage a lot. But um, I mean, overall, it wasn't there wasn't too much rage in these levels. But, um, that doesn't mean that there wasn't rage last episode. So, pretty much, um, you know, last episode, uh, I was trying to get the 7th Chaos Arm with that first. But then, of course, um, ended up in being lots of rage there. And then I just gave up, and then we fought... Whoops, didn't want to do that. But, um, yeah, but then we fought the Egg Emperor, which, pretty much, in my opinion, the toughest boss in the game. Well, I don't know, either him or the final boss, but it's been a while since I fought the final boss, so I can't really remember. So for now, I'm just gonna say the egg, the egg Emperor is like the toughest boss in the game, but somehow I, I managed to just beat him easily. I don't I don't know why I don't know how I'm doing so good at these stages that I dread the most and the bosses I dread the most. But that was that's how it was. But of course, it was the um it was the special stages that really had to really had to piss me off last episode because after we finished Sonic Story, um I wanted to try to get the six cast armor again, but unfortunately, um. Still, I couldn't get it, and I really, really rage quit a little bit. So, but that's pretty much what happened in the finale of Team Sonic Story. For those, for those who saw that, it said. So basically, for those um, that are confused, um, it was not the finale of this playthrough. Just so you guys know, it was just the finale of Team Sonic Story. Because now, in this episode, you guys can see on um, pretty much the thumbnail and the title, we are now going to begin Team Dark Story. So, um, without further ado, let's go and begin here. I always like their intro right there too. So I, I like how Shadow just goes, hmm. But look at this intro here. I always love this um this opening. Yeah, Rouge just breaks in. Well not breaks in, but like I found Eggman's secret treasure. Yeah, look at this. Wait, oh, yeah. Rouge got Rouge gets caught by Omega. Yeah, look at that. The Shadow the Android. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, since um, Omega found out that... Um, yeah, because Shadow's, Shadow's an Android. <laughs> Jeez. I like how Rude's just so exhausted from that. Like her ears just go down like that. Look at that. All that destruction. Just in Eggman's lab right there. Now I see it. Now I know what this is all about. You're mad at Eggman for sealing you in this room. And you, you can't remember anything, can you? Jeez. Then it's settled. Now you two make up so we can start looking for Eggman together. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. This makes us a team. And that's how Team Dark pretty much started, which is weird. But, um, but yeah, obviously Shadow, you know, obviously, you know, you guys know in Sonic Adventure 2, this is a spoiler alert, by the way, um, Shadow the Hedgehog did die in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I mean Sonic Adventure you 2. Ready? Warning, immediate destruction if distracted. <laughs> Hope you can keep up with me. Jeez. But yeah, you guys know, um, Sh Shadow, he pretty much, yeah, he pretty much died in, uh, Sonic Adventure 2, so then, um, he was, he was created as an android. So for those who don't know about that, but um, that's pretty much what happened. So you guys were probably confused. For those who played, who just played Sonic Adventure 2 or something like that, but never played the other Sonic games, I'm sure you guys are confused about that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what what it is. It was also like that in the Shadow of the Hedgehog, in, in Shadow of the Hedgehog, which um, the Sha you know Shadow of the Hedgehog game. Obviously, I did a playthrough on that. But um. I think it was like, yeah, it's been like almost five years now since I've done that playthrough though on Shadow the, on the, on the Shadow the Hedgehog game. 
and there was there was much more backstory to Shadow and all that because he was obviously um, uncovering the truth of who he really is. And what's what's funny is that um both this game and Shadow the Hedgehog had like the same um same gameplay. I mean same yeah same gameplay, same slippery controls and all that. You know, Shadow, Shadow moves moves around like this, like he does in, in Shadow the Hedgehog. But I never really got to mention that. But, um, yeah, look at that. But yeah, so for this... Yeah, hang on. Oh, I thought there was a checkpoint with that video. Holy crap! So much explanation, Shadow. We are—I mean, we are. You guys already know how the how, how the um team blast works, but here's here's what Team Dark's team blast looks like. Look at this. I always like this um because because here's what happens. Everything everything gets frozen because Shadow used Chaos Control, and obviously it was called Chaos Inferno. I think that's what they said. Yeah. So, but um. For those who don't know about Team Dark's levels and stuff, um, yeah, obviously, but, um, yeah, so pretty much, you know, um, so it's like the same, so these levels are pretty much the same, well, not, oh, you guys could tell this is different compared to Team Sonic, but these levels are definitely tougher than Team Sonic's levels, so we're basically going to be dealing with tougher levels, um, in this story. The tougher versions of you know Team Sonic, Team Sonic's uh, levels and all that. But I can still I can still pull it off though. It just it's just a little tougher because I'm not really used to these levels anyway. Because yeah, you know, most levels I, I I get used to in this game obviously are Team Sonic's levels. So um, I might forget what to do most of the time in this story, but we'll see what happens. I mean, it's mostly just straightforward, but I'm, I'm probably going to struggle mostly because I, I would forget what to do and stuff. So. Right, I, I just want to see, because I wanted to see what Omega broke right there. But yeah, all the characters' attacks are pretty much the same as, um, almost the same as, uh, you know, Team Sonic. Like, like Omega, he does this, like how Knuckles does it, but then, um, but you guys can see Omega fires instead of doing the, instead of Knuckles doing, like, the, get down! Instead, it's Ome Omega Omega firing. And look at this. Look look at what. See you guys see that? That's the attack that Omega does when he's level three. But you guys saw when he was level two, he had the um he had the flamethrower. And then when he's level one, um he, he just shoots bullets. So it's it's pretty cool. It, that's why that's why I always like that. All right. Yeah, this might be a little bit tough, but we can do it. There we go. Like we're all level level um, three already, so there we go. All right, but overall, there's not really much to say about this level. Um, mostly about the story a little bit, but um, I mean, well, there's more to say about the story though. I mean, I do like the story overall and how how it all works. So it's pretty cool. All right. But it's still it's still cool though. Um, I like and I, I do like how two days ago I just finished Team Sonic's story. Now today I'm doing now I'm doing this because it feels like whenever I would finish the story it would be on a Friday, and then you guys would wait all, all the way till like next week to um for for a new story. Just like how it was in Sonic Adventure 2, I believe, when I did that a playthrough pretty much four years ago. So um, oh wait, all right there we go. I mean, overall, this is this is um, just just a little, just slightly a little bit tougher than uh, than Team Sonic's Seaside Hill, though. But yeah, all the levels are in the same order, just like how Team Sonic's Team Sonic's was, and you know, same thing with Team Rose and Team Chaotix too. So. Right. Oh, and not to mention, you you can you you guys can uh. You, you guys don't have to do all you know these stories all in all in this order that I'm doing. I just like doing it starting from Team Sonic and Team Dark and Team Rose. You know. So um, you know you guys could you guys could like like let's say you guys could like start start off with Team Rose and then like do Team Sonic or something like that. Cause I know I know most um, some of you don't want to do Team Dark right away. Obviously, you guys probably would just wait until like well not probably not wait till last but like. 
maybe. It depends. It depends on how you feel and all that about these stories, but um. Plus, you don't have you got you guys already know you guys don't have to do them all at once. You could do like you could like have you could like be in the middle of a story like Team Sonic story. You don't have you could be, you don't have to be done with it, but then um if you're like in the middle of the story, you could just go and start a new story if you want. So it's, it's that that's yeah it's, that, I mean I, I just want to just throw that out there though. So plus I don't really have anything else to say right now, but um. Right, here you go. Oh, yeah, and by the way, um, Shadow also does the tornado jump just like how Sonic does it. So, yeah, here, look at this. Instead, it's like a black tornado instead of a blue tornado, which is pretty cool. And he also says, Shadow also says, take this. And I like it when you beat the level, Shadow just goes, hmm. I always like this victory pose right here. Like, it's like Rouge is just waving. And it's like Omega is just holding, holding her, too. And you're gonna, you're probably gonna see me mess up like this. I am Omega, the ultimate E series robot. Jeez, I like when he says that when you get an A. So there you go, pretty easy though. And um, you, you guys are probably gonna hear me call accidentally call Omega Gamma, just just because it's like I, I always get those. Well, I don't get them mixed up, but it's like I used to kind of think that Omega was Gamma. You guys already know E one hundred two Gamma from Sonic Adventure, you know. So um. Right, hang on, the lighting looks kind of bad. Sorry, just gonna fix it real quick. There we go. Might be a little bit too dark, but um, because I saw the lighting was kind of bad. So, all right, so we got another um, we got our, pretty much our second second time in this entire playthrough that I'm doing a bonus stage. So um, it, was, I, it looks like we started off with like uh, 40 seconds or something like that. And pretty much it, once we once we get like further once we get like further in in this um in, like like let's say if we do a bonus stage for Mystic Mansion or some well not Mystic Mansion because you because you do you get the Chaos Armor which we still have to get that Chaos Armor anyway after after that Ultimate Rage from last episode but um like let's say we go to Hang Castle and then we do we do a bonus stage there I think I think you would have I think you would start off with like 20 seconds so. The time limit would be more unfair in um in the later bonus stages, pretty much. So I just wanted to just throw that out there. But um, I mean overall, I'm, I am really looking forward to doing more of these for you guys, more more stories and all that. Obviously, I'm I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to Team Rose and Team Chaotix as well, because they're they're like their their attacks and abilities are are more different compared to um. Yeah, they're definitely more different compared to um, Team Sonic and Team Dark, though. You'll see, though. It's gonna be pretty cool, though, because um, I don't. For those who didn't know, or for those who don't know, like I don't think I mentioned it when I was doing Team Sonic, though. But it's like um, like with Tails, um, he would throw he would throw these um he would throw like these fake rings, and if you touch him, you get hit. That 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 would usually happen if he doesn't have if all the characters aren't like with him like that. Hang on, sorry, the lighting, yeah, I saw the lighting looked really bad. Sorry about that, guys. Gonna fix that a little bit? Maybe not. Oh, well. But, um, yes, yeah, so there we go. So that was the first bonus stage right there for, pretty much for Team Dark. So, all right, I'm gonna fix the lighting again. Sorry, guys, I might have to pause the video, actually, but flee from the ancient ruins. I don't think it said that when we, um, when we played as Team Sonic, though. Ancient civilization established on the sea. This place is really beautiful. Primary target is Eggman. Don't forget it. Jeez. Yeah, but um, hang on, give me a second, guys. I'm just gonna fix the line because I can see I can already see how bad this looks. Alright guys, I think that should be good now. Sorry about that. Alright, now we should be good. Of course. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble dealing with the lighting this episode. Oh well. Omega, we're counting on you to break this stone door. Look at see he shoots bullets when he's level one, so there we go. Yep, obviously you just gotta take down the take down all these stone walls with Omega. But in, and obviously this is um You guys you guys already know, um I did tell you guys, um I think I didn't I think I mentioned it, I forget. But um Was it Knuckles? Hang on. There we go. Got more of these. 
Yeah, they, they see they do they do the same thing like Team Sonic does when they all, all like um, gather they they all um put their hands together like that. So. But yeah, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, so I think I think I did mention this where Knuckles is like the only um power type in this game where he's actually like the same size where he's where he's the only he's like the only power type that's like actually like not you know big and buff like uh, like Omega and uh Omega big and um. Well, I wouldn't say buff, buff, but like, I would say Knuckles, Knuckles is like the only small power type because he's like the same size as Sonic and Tails, obviously. But it's like you got Big, you got Omega, and you got um Vector, which they're all like obviously bigger than um you know the others, the, you know the regular. Uh, I mean like the speed and pa uh, fly type characters. But it's it's just really cool how how um how it's like that. So it's like so it's like if you don't if you don't really want to play as Knuckles as a power type. And um, it, it, it does. It, it is. It is. It is a little more satisfying playing as a bigger character like that when he, when when, it's, when it comes to the power type though. So, that's pretty cool though. There you go. <laughs> it, it, I always like. It always looks like Shadow's dabbing right there. Whenever, whenever he like poses after going through those rings. Oh yeah, I, I always, I always get tricked by that. No. Okay. I, I always get scared of that. I always think those things are gonna fall on me, those those pillars, but they, they just stay up there. Wait. There and it's like it's like Omega always says annihilate, annihilate, and all that. Even even when you switch to him, he, he just he always says that. What the? Hey hey whoa 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 whoa! What the heck was that? Oh, that was weird. You guys saw that? I don't know what the heck happened. I should have been going forward after going off the, the ramp, but somehow I... Like, that was weird. There we go. Annihilate, like he always says that. What the hell? Alright, that was stupid. Well, wasn't I... I was, I was Shadow. Wasn't I playing as Shadow? What the hell? All of a sudden I was Omega and I just... Just screw up like that? Oh, because of that freaking oh my goodness. You can't even see you can't even see the red around this these these things that force you to uh to switch characters. Alright, let's try this again. Don't die again, please. Oh my god, that was annoying. Oh man. It's like we're already dealing with so much um so much weird shit in this uh in it's it's weird because it's like like come on dude I'm I'm trying to um I'm doing exactly what I usually would do in this in these levels and all of a sudden I just die randomly it's weird that's the worst thing in video games is that you you know you know how to beat a level but then all of a sudden some random shit has to happen that causes you to die and it never happens to you before and and you're doing you're doing exactly what you usually do it's weird. Yeah, so that's obviously that's obviously what it is. Instead of instead of Knuckles always um yeah wait I think oh wait no yeah yeah uh, hold on so yeah you guys remember Knuckles would throw Sonic and Tails when you jump like this yeah was, Omega does he pretty much does the same thing except he like fires he I guess he I guess he uses his gun to do that or something like that um how the hell I got hit like that though. So mostly the only difference with Omega and between Omega and Knuckles is that um obviously Omega fires, he uses his weapons and all that. Yeah. And Knuckles obviously does the get down. There you go. Oh man, and the, the that big boulder thing is coming up that I was struggling on um when I was doing Team Sonic, of course. We got this we got it this time though. At least I get to listen to this awesome music again. Dang, I, I wanted to kill him, but of course I made him go flying in the air. Since Shadow's level three. All right, see, look at that. See that that didn't fall down. All right, switch to yep, Omega so I can level him up. All right, here we go. The return of the, the freaking rock. All right. Hopefully we got this. Hopefully I don't end up. No, I think I, I think I should be good. Yeah. See, there we go. See, that was, that, that's easier, because we, 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 I guess we got a head start this time. 
Okay, yeah, here you go. Got to deal with two, and then, and then now three more rocks. Yeah. That was close. It really looks like we're gonna get hit by those. Like it really did. Hmm. Oh yeah, and, and I love when Omega says minus gravity detected whenever whenever we're like flying in the air. See, there you go. All right. Really wish I didn't die at that part, because that was that was bull crap. That really was bull crap though, but um I guess we'll get like a B or something. I couldn't even beat Gamma or Beta. Kirk oh yeah, you see, he mentions Gamma and, and Beta. You guys know Beta was the um I think he was the the black robot. The, yeah, I think so. I don't know, but um Yeah, so of course got an E just from dying once. Whatever. And now we fight the egg hawk again. This time with Team Dark. Yeah, here we go. It's like Omega betrays Eggman. Then again, I mean, I guess, I guess you could say Eggman did treat Omega like garbage. So, so now Omega's gonna, gonna return the favor. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much how, how it all starts here. I mean, you guys remember in my Shadow of the Hedgehog playthrough where where um Omega Omega wanted to stop Eggman as well and all that. But yeah, we already destroyed the rotors just like that. This is gonna be quick. <clears throat> nope. Dang. I'm already whooping. Look at that. I'm already whooping his ass. Alright, come on. Alright, here are you guys. So you guys don't um, interfere here. Alright. How many minutes are I already? Well, we're only 22 minutes actually. I, I, don't know why I, was, I don't know why I was expecting to be longer a little bit. Oh yeah, I did notice that we didn't go to the um, uh, special stage for the. Uh, I mean, it's not it's not that big of a deal. So, so for those who are confused that um that I should be getting, I should be collecting all the chaos emeralds for Team Dark, um I don't have to do that because we already ha we already have the first five chaos emeralds. So yeah, so 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 when you get a chaos emerald, it, it, it's you basically get a chaos emerald for all the teams. So we don't have to really get all the chaos emeralds again. Or we don't, we don't have to get the first cast emerald or second cast emerald, you know, with Team Dark this time. Just one, just just so you guys know. But um, just so you guys don't get confused about that, because I was kind of confused about that at first. But yeah, we still need to. We, so obviously, we still need to get the sixth and seventh cast emerald all together. So maybe maybe we could maybe we could get the rest of the cast emeralds um with the other teams or something. No, <clears throat> there we go. Just destroy him like that. There we go. All right. I didn't realize Rouge was level three. I could have just whooped, whooped him real. Yeah. I I didn't notice. I was just too busy using Shadow. But um. Obviously, the doctor's robots are useless. Jeez. Yeah. There we go. Took took care of Eggman just like that. And I'll take that C. Why not? All right, so um, obviously we'll do Grand Metropolis in the next episode. Yeah, crush the city under the control of Eggman. I don't, I, th I don't think it said that with Team Sonic. I mean, it said some something similar to that. Eggman is behind all of this. Whatever it takes, he's mine. Any objections? Negative. And <laughs> negative. Is this the energy plant. That red liquid is being traded at high prices. Yeah, but I guess that I guess that I guess like the mission the mission um text at the very beginning. Yeah, but um we're not gonna do this yet. But um yeah, I guess I guess it said something similar with Team Sonic, but I don't think it said crush the city under the control of Eggman when it came to Team Sonic. I guess it said I guess it said stop this stop stop the robots. From, I don't know. It said something. Stop the city from from being controlled by Eggman or something like that, or stop Eggman from controlling the city. I don't know. I can't remember, but um, it said something slightly different when when we were Team Sonic, I think. 
But um, anyways, that's going to be pretty much be a wrap for this episode here for you guys. So I'm um, like you all for watching. Um, be sure to check my other videos. And um, yeah, so next episode we will go and take on Grand Metropolis Zone. And then, um, not one, I don't really call it Zone, obviously. But we'll take on Grand Metropolis and then Power Plant. And obviously we'll go and um, we're going to face another team. So instead of facing Team Rose like we did with Team Sonic, we're going to face a, a, a different team this time. And you'll see who it is um, after we uh, pretty much take care of Power Plant. So, but yeah, we'll be doing all that with Team Dark. So, um, overall, hope you guys enjoyed this um, first episode here of Team Dark Story. And um, I'm looking forward to doing more of these for you guys. So, it's going to be fun. And um, maybe annoying. I don't know. I, I, we'll see. But it, obviously, like I said, guys, these stages are definitely tougher than Team Sonic. So, um... And I used to really rage at them too when I was playing these before, but um, I mean I should be good because apparently every time I record these ep these levels, these tough levels, somehow I I do so well. I don't know how. You guys saw I was I, I pretty much blazed through almost every level with Team Sonic. Like that, it, it was insane. I don't know how, but I I, I must have I must have did so well. So um, that's gonna pretty much be it. Um, I don't know if there will be a video this weekend, but um. Well, maybe there will be, because, um, there will be a vlog, hopefully, this weekend. We'll see what happens, but, um, other than that, though, I'll mostly see you guys, um, I'll most likely see you guys Monday with some more Mario Maker Online, and, um, obviously more of the series for you guys, more of this playthrough, so, overall, I can't wait to continue this game, and, um, but for now, that's gonna pretty much be it, so, you know, you got Rouge, you know, flying and all that, yeah. Yeah, obviously she got wings, so she's a bad. You got Omega here, you know. You can even see, you can even see on on his on. You can see right there. It shows the Omega o Omega logo right there too. The you know the Omega symbol. So. I'll take it from here. But I mean, obviously we got Shadow the Hedgehog. But um, yeah. So other than that though, that's gonna pretty much be a wrap. So I will see y'all next time. Be sure to subscribe for my videos, and if you enjoy this episode, be sure to hit that like button. And I will see y'all next time, guys. Thanks for watching.